Kate Chiblow and I'm a textile conservator at the Powerhouse Museum and I'm Sarah Poynton, I'm an assistant registrar at the Powerhouse Museum. This is Frances Fitzpatrick, she's also a textile conservator and she's going to show us how to put a garment into a box and we just saw her take off her scarf and jewellery so that that doesn't get in the way when she's packing the garment and now she's putting on cotton gloves, clean cotton gloves which protect uh, the garment uh, because she has oils and salts in her hands which could get transferred to the fabric. And here Kate's helping Francis to support the object while they're putting it into the, the textile box. And the box is made out of polypropylene. And if it's possible it's always good to, um, to be handling uh, a textile um, with two people so then that helps to minimise the stress on the actual garment. Francis is just removing the padded coat hanger that we use for hanging textiles. And I'm just lining an acid-free box with acid-free tissue paper on the bottom and around the edges. If you look at our supplies list on this website, you'll find out where to buy acid-free tissue boxes and boxes and also we, we use polypropylene boxes as well. So Francis is demonstrating how to make acid free tissue rolls. She's used two pieces of tissue paper here and she's just rolling them up and she'll scrunch them at the end to hold them in place and she's prepared quite a few already for this trip. So here you can see that Francis is using the, um, the tissue rolls to support the, the shoulders and the arms and the, the bodice of the dress. Um, it's good if you can try and guide the, um, the tissue through with your hand so you know that it's not actually getting caught on perhaps lining or some point on the inside of the, of the garment. And the idea when we're packing dresses and garments is to support them wherever we're going to fold the object. So we do that with these rolls because otherwise folds turn into creases and they have pressure on them and creases can turn into slits. So Francis is just inserting some rolls into the skirt there. If it's a very large skirt you can concertina each side and wherever you um, fold the, the skirt, you put a roll in. also just use scrunched up tissue paper to fill, help fill the, the dress. Putting the gloves back on. Again, 
you can see plants just sort of guiding the um, the, the tissue roll through through the shoulder seam and the arm. as you can see Francis is doing here to actually gently um, pulling the, the tissue through so that you know it's not actually getting caught. objects in boxes uh, because they act as a buffer against humidity changes uh, so do the apple tree tissue paper we also do it to protect the object against dust and light and insects and pollution and we recommend not putting more than two dressings in a box Francis is just uh, covering it up now and then she'll the edges over. And sometimes it can be easier to actually handle the, the tissue without gloves on, but Frances, um, you can see, makes sure that she doesn't actually, um, her hands don't come in contact with the garment unless they do actually have gloves on. You can see in those drawers behind in our storeroom that we've put photos on the outside of the drawers so you don't have to look in every drawer to find the object you want. And Francis will put the, the lid on this box and it'll have a photo on it too. It's also good to try and keep the box once packed horizontal too so the dress won't move um, inside the box. 